name is Medora McCarthy. I also go by Maddie, um, kind of a team nickname. I'm on the women's fencing team, and I was born in England, and I moved to California when I was two years old, and I've been living in Northern California ever since, and I am currently a red shirt sophomore. Essentially what that means is I am in my third year academically, so I'm a junior, but I will be staying for five years as I was injured and I'm saving a year of my eligibility um, so I can compete for an extra year and get back a season which I would have lost the injury otherwise. Um, it definitely taught me a lot about myself as a person. Um, I'm very impatient, so being forced to kind of sit back and focus on recovery as opposed to being an active athlete was very difficult. Um, my personal identity had to change from one of being, I am a fencer, this is my identity, this is who I am, to I am a recovering athlete. I need to focus on rehabilitation, and I'm still learning a lot about it today, um, sort of getting back in, trying to walk first before I start running again, and it's definitely taught me a lot about um, perseverance, for sure, and also um, resiliency, um, mental resilience as well. I think that's a huge part of injury that isn't really discussed, is the mental resiliency it takes just to overcome and just to be able to, you know, relearn how to walk in some cases. Being born in another country um, and moving when I was extremely young, um, I've always felt that I've kind of had two places of home. Um, my extended family is all entirely back in the UK, so I grew up going back multiple times every year. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to do that, but I never really thought of it as a transition. It was just something that was normal to be um, of a different nationality, but residing in the United States. Um, I definitely think it does. I speak um, at home with an English accent and to other British people with an English accent and sometimes the terminology is a little bit confusing or if I'm talking to multiple people but also I think the hardest part is missing family and missing out on a lot of family events just because of the distance but I honestly have seen it as more of a benefit than an actual challenge.